Hello everyone, welcome back. In previous lecture, we have established the connection between employee and passport, right? So now we have we are going to insert the data, employee information and passport information. So so by using uh, by creating a Spring RESTful API, we are going to pers persist employee and passport information, right? So uh, to create a REST, REST API, let me show you. So if you want to create RESTful API in our uh, Spring Boot architecture, we have to create controller and service and DAO layer. So DAO layer will connect to the database, right? So let me create a controller first. Either it is a Spring Boot or a traditional Spring application, we used to follow or we need to follow same architecture, right? So to perform one-to-one -one relationship, we am, I am going to create Spring Boot REST APIs, right? To perform employee, to insert employee details. Create employee API, I am going to create it. So to create the employee API first we need to create controller so let me create the controller go to Eclipse and right click on the root pa root uh, root package of uh, application and then click on package controller Now right click on that package and create employee rest controller. And click on finish button. So I have just created the class so let me stop the server otherwise it will keep disturb us right. So let me stop the server. Now, so I have just created the controller class, but this is a simple controller. How we can define our class as a controller, rest controller with the, uh, with the help of at the rate, at the rate rest controller annotation. The, the moment you specify at the rate rest controller annotation, uh, our class will become as a rest controller. So I have created the controller. Next, what we need to create? let me create service class okay service service layer how we can create so right click on the project and click on new and create interface employee service so in this interface we are going to create uh, we are going to create which API? Create employee API, right? So uh, let me write uh, abstract method, create employee method, right? So create employee. So we need to pass input, right? So employee class we need to pass as argument. So the moment you create the employee, we should return respective employee details right so the return type should be employee that's it so interface will have abstract methods why i'm creating uh, we can write the test case and we can perform insert operation also but i want to show you how to create end-to-end -end application uh, spring boot application along with one-to-one -one operation okay that's the reason i am creating spring boot project from scratch so interface I have defined so now what we need to write so re in real time we have to follow this kind of uh, coding standards okay so now right click and new we need to create implementation class right so create the class employee service IMPL nothing but employee service implementation class so this class should extend uh, this uh, implements uh, employee service right employee service click on employee service and click on ok button and then click on finish 
So, employee service IMPL is implements employee service. Interface and uh, I have written one uh, employee create employee method. So, that is overridden here. So, this is just a service class, but it will not become a re uh, real time service class because so we have to declare it how Spring Boot knows uh, who is going to create this object. Employee service object is going to create by Spring Boot itself. So how Spring Boot knows to create a employee service object by specifying at the rate service annotation. Okay, that's it. Organize the imports. Now my service is ready now. So next, what I need to create? We have to create repository, right? So next, controller we have created, service we have created, then next, repository layer. We have to create repository layer. So let me right click on the root package and new and create interface called employee JPA repository. So this will extend JPA repository. Spring is having JPA repository. We are going to perform code operations uh, with the employee and passport. So we are going to perform code operations with the help of JPA repository. Then click on finish button. So our employee repository is ready. So JP repository is a, is having generic types. So T in the sense here we need to pass employee entity. So ID. So this should be your primary key of employee. So in, in employee, what is the primary key data type? It should be long. So same thing we have to if you take if you took integer you have to give integer if you took long then you have to took long here. So that's it our repository is ready now. So here how we can define our repository class with the help of at the rate repository annotation to define our repository layer. So this means that this what is the meaning of that this class become this interface become as a repository layer. So now my employee repository is ready now. So, so far we have created controller, service and repository layer. So to insert the database operation, so we have to create, uh, so from controller, from controller to service we have to call, so from service to we have to call repository layer right so let me write business logic where we have to write the business logic you can see as part of the spring boot architecture we are going to write business logic in service layer and we are going to have persistence logic in repository layer so already we have created the repository and with the help of jpa repository it has all the methods like how we are going to insert update and delete operations we are going to perform with jpa repository so that uh, database layer related methods already available inside the jpa repository so based on our requirement we can use respective methods okay so now we just need to write the business logic in service layer that's it Go to your employee service IMPL and implement the business logic here. So, so from the during the architecture from the service layer, we have to call repository layer, repository or DAO layer. So, to call repository layer in service class, we have to create repository instance here in some repository instance in service layer. So, now let me create. employee jpa repository employee jpa control space that's it it will create automatically so now here who will create a employee jpa repository spring boot will create the object of employee jpa repository with the help of auto wire so this is a field level injection field level dependency injection so now we have to call this repository layer in service method of create employee 
repository employee repository dot it has a method called save method save method will perform insert or update operation so with the help of jpa repositories repository is having save method by using save method we can perform insert or update operation so i am going to use save save method and what we need to pass you can see control space save method is having entity you can see what we need to pass we have to pass entity object by looking into save method itself you will get to know to store the employee details we need to pass entity to save method of employee jpa repository so this save method is coming from where jpa repository which we have you can see here employee repository have created interface this we have extended jpa repository so here we have that save method right so let me add employee let me pass employee object that's it so we can save employee details now so from the service layer is ready now so during the architecture from the service layer so from where we need to call the service layer we have to call the service layer from controller so let me go to controller employee rest controller so here we have to call i am going to create the api now public so we are going to create employee api right so we should return uh, response response entity of employee object okay so now so this response entity is available in spring framework so, okay so what is the purpose so we can return the uh, whether uh, employee is saved or not status of the whether if it is created we can uh, set the 201 right as part of the response we can show 201 response that means employees created successfully for that purpose we are using response entity so it is available in spring boot framework so employee in our create employee api we need to write that's it for the time being i will return null so let me organize the imports control shift o so what we need to pass employee details this employee details will come from rest client so how we can get the employee details from the rest client with the help of at the rate request body that's it so we need to pass employee object that's it so now our uh, method is ready so now we can call service layer from controller so to call the service layer we need to create service class object private employee service that's it who will create uh, employee service instance with the help of dependency injection spring boot will create for us field level dependency injection i am using so now we can call employee service start create employee method which you have created right so create employee and then just pass the employee object so this should return uh, response entity of employee so let me write new response so this method should return response entity of employee response entity of employee so we can use employee entity of this one right so there is a method constructor called we can pass employee entity and http request to method response method So this is no need. So this create employee method will return employee class object, right? Or directly you can call this method inside that as well. Just to call inside that or uh, let me write. Uh, 
some people may confuse let me write you can directly call, call you can directly call this method inside this and we can pass HTTP status code HTTP status HTA HTTP status let me maximize you can see there is a HTTP status which is available in springgo.http so using this here you can pass created okay. that's set so now we don't need this that's it now we can create the employee so what we need to declare we have to declare uh, this is a post request right we have to send the employee details from uh, rest client right so let me create the post mapping and we need to create the employee api create employee let me give create employee api that's it so now we can call this api from rest client to save employee data so let me go to the browser and in browser we have a uh, i have already installed talent api so if you are if you have already postman you can use if you have talent api you can use talent api from any client you can use so create employee api i am just pausing as part of uh, uh, talent api from rest client so what is the http request method to create the employee post request so from here we can pass uh, already i have uh, in previous class previous uh, session previous class i already explained the students so that's the reason this is came by default so now here let me what are the properties we have here as part of res uh, employee entity we have id first name and last name so let me give as part of the request we need to pass employee details first name and last name so check and we have and we have id first name and last name and passport first name we need to no need to pass because hibernate will generate a primary key for us right so first name last name and passport details let me delete this and uh, passport what is the property this is the one passport we need to pass it as a passport that's it so passport uh, id also we no need to pass to insert the passport so we have id and number so id we no, no, we no need to pass because hibernate will generate for the primary key of passport so we just need to pass passport number so i already have have here number so it should be alphanumeric right so passport number will be alphanumeric i will just pass the dummy number some dummy alpha uh, passport number okay so now we can send the request to insert the employee detail let's see what will happen now so how it is going to store the data in employee we have defined one to one relationship so now i am trying to insert the employee details let's see what will happen go to the console i am clear the console and uh, now why i am showing step by step some people will buy hard the code to implement one to one relationship so uh, my intention is you should not uh, buy hard the code you should understand each and every statement to perform uh, one to one relationship mapping so what one to one relation one to one addition will perform so it will maintain the relationship between employee and passport so now we are going to store the data so what will happen we'll see now with this uh, annotation okay so now open the rest client 
and send the request. No response. Why? Because I haven't started the server. So let me start the server. You can see our Tomcat server started successfully with the default port number 8080. Now I can send the request from REST client. Uh, create employee API will be post request, right? So let me send the request. As part of the request, I am sending employee details and passport details. Yeah, we got 500 internal error. So what is the meaning of that? Let me check the response here. What is the response it sent? Transient property value, transient, transient, transient property value exception. So object reference and unsaved transient instance. So save instance before flushing. So let me open the Eclipse console as well. You can see here it is clearly saying uh, it is trying to, you can see Hibernate is generated insert the query to insert the employee details, right? To insert the employee details. But problem here is so employee is having relationship, right? With passport. So passport is not going to store here. That is the meaning of that object reference unsaved transient instant. Save the transient instance before plushing. Why? Because so you right click so one to one we have a one to one mapping right we have one to one mapping with the employee with passport so if you open the database we have a foreign key relationship so if you want to insert employee information before inserting employee we have to insert passport first right so without inserting the passport we can't insert in employee details that is the reason server uh, returned 500 internal error right it is clearly saying uh, object reference and unsaved transient instance save the transient instance before flushing that means before inserting the employee details first we have to insert passport details so we can uh, resolve this uh, in two ways let me clear the console how we can resolve in two ways let me go one by one so go to your service class so first we have we are unable to save the employee details right so first we have to insert passport first so to insert the passport so we need a passport jpa repository so to insert the employee we need employee jpa repository similarly to insert the passport before inserting the employee we need to insert the passport to insert the passport we need to create Passport JPA repository. So let me create that repository. Where is our repository package? Entity. Sorry. Oh, repository I have created inside the package. Ah, okay, okay. So we should move, we should create a repository package. Actually, I haven't created a repository package. Let me check. Repository I have created a, a controller package, entity package, but I haven't created a repository package as well as service package. So, better we create a repository package, guys inside that only we have to write actually repository inside the repository package so i am going to move this employee repository also inside this package and click on okay refactor okay update all qualified names click on okay so now Similarly, service class also we have to create inside the service layer, right? So let me create the package for service layer service. So inside the service package, we have we should have these two implementation and interface. Both we should have inside the 
सर्विस क्लास पैकेज या दैट्स इट आई जस्ट मूव्ड सो नाउ रिपोजिटरी लेयर वेयर इज आवर रिपोजिटरी लेयर ही इज हियर सो नाउ बिफोर वी आर गोइंग गॉट द एक्सेप्शन राइट सो इन एम्प्लॉई सर्विस uh before inserting the employee we have to insert passport first so to insert the passport we need jpa repository interface passport jpa repository it will extend jpa repository finish so how here we need to pass passport entity and id we need to pass long because in passport entity we ha i have taken it as a long passport id i have taken it as a long so we have to declare this as a at the rate repository that's it our repository passport repository is ready now we can call this passport repository from employee service because before inserting employee we have to insert passport first private passport jpa repository so we need to auto wire so spring boot spring container will create passport jpa repository singleton instance so now password jpa repository dot save what we need to pass employee uh, passport details from where passport details so from the employee object we have passport details right employee dot get passport that's it now let me stop the server and let me start in debug mode so that you can easily understand how uh, before employee uh, we are going to insert the passport and then employee details will be inserted successfully so instead of debug let me start the server directly in debug mode i want to run in debug mode go to rest clients and we'll check our uh, remember this session switch okay check our uh, server is started successfully or not this is eclipse issue you no need to bother about it so now click on open the console so we don't have any exception in console so now we can send the request successfully first the request will come to our employee repository sorry employee controller right so in employee controller let me put breakpoint here as well so now i will send the request from rest client you can see request came to our controller and you can let me check whether data came into controller or not you can see data came successfully so id is null because id is going uh, hibernate is going to generate primary key so we no need to pass id that is the reason it is null so i haven't passed the id from as part of the request you can see we got the first name last name and passport details also so passport details we are going to store right so id also passport id will uh, hibernate is going to generate so we got the request so let me function f8 so it will go to the service layer you can see so it came to the service layer so here first before inserting employee we are going to insert the passport first let me open the console and clear the console we'll see what hibernate will do clear the console and put breakpoint here and press function effect so you can see the moment uh, passport in, passport jp repository dot save method is executed hibernate is generated insert into passport what is that meaning so hibernate is going to insert passport here so it is generated clearly insert into passport values okay so passport so now you can see here employee object you can see after insertion the employee object should have 
passport details you can see id also generated by hibernet the moment it is uh, passport details are saved you can see before uh, before uh, before inserting the employee details you can debug here so passport details are came successfully you can see here uh, hibernet generated primary key for passport id and number we have sent this is this we have sent from rest client now let me open the console so as of now we have only insert statement so let me execute function f8 that's it function f8 so you can see uh, rest line response you can see employee details successfully inserted in database we got the response 201 nothing but so resource is created in database employee resource successfully inserted in database so we can see employee information also there along with employee information we got passport details as well right so we have employee details first name last name and passport details and last name so if you open the console you can see the moment this statement is executed employee repository dot save method is executed so hibernate is generated insert into employee so this is how we have resolved the issue transient instance issue right so there is another way also how we can insert another way let me show you so i we don't need to write the uh, logic to insert the passport explicitly so let hibernate create the passport uh, by hibernate we no need to write the logic to insert passports i told you right initially two ways we can resolve the transient uh, uh, exception instance exception so uh, before employee we have to store the passport details so now we have written the logic to store passport manually so we no need to do that let me uh, let hibernate uh, insert the passport details as well how we can do that so before that let me show you the database whether data is inserted or not you can see see there is a no if there is a employee details is inserted employee number two rasul and sheikh and let me open the passport table passport table also is inserted successfully passport in for passport id this is generated by hypernet and the passport number which you pass from the rest client it is inserted so we have employee information as well as passport information so we have inserted passport details manually we no need to do that let the hypernet to do that how we can perform let me show you so go to the passport uh, go to the entity employee so along with the one to one annotation we can use uh, there is a attribute called cascade is equal to all detached match i will explain you later so i will go with all so the moment you declare cascade is equal to all what is will happen so hibernate is going to before inserting the employee hibernate will insert the password first and then it will insert employee details so let me do that so what is the meaning of cascade so whatever operation we are going to perform with employee if we are going to insert the employee so at the same time hibernate will insert passport details as well if you, are, you got it right that is the meaning of cascade is equal to all so what are all the operation we are going to perform with employee so same operation is going to perform with passport as well so let me clear the console and let me create one more employee okay so let me disable the debug send the request you can see employee 3 is created successfully so if you open the console you can see insert into employee values and uh, sorry insert into passport values and insert into employee value see how how beauty is that so hibernate is performing uh, when we are inserting the employee details it is all it is also inserting passport details as well so we have you haven't written the logics i have commented out right i have commented out along with the employee so before inserting the employee hibernate or jpi is inserted 
our passport details as well but with the help of one to one annotation and cash code is equal casket type all so this is how you have to learn guys okay so uh, in this lecture we learn how to insert the data in insert uh, employee and passport uh, table right so in next lecture i will explain you uh, what is eager loading and what is lazy loading in one to one relationship okay so if you guys are like this video you can subscribe and you can watch all the videos which i have uploaded into my playlist and you can learn freely you no need to pay the money okay so go to browser the new guys who are all watching newly you can go to https colon uh youtube.com slash it there rasul iphone shake slash playlist so here go to this uh youtube portal and if you click on that so you you have a uh playlist here the moment you click on playlist uh you will have a uh, uh, multiple multiple classes let me pass so you, you can see there is a sequence sequence of lectures i have given here you can learn one by one okay guys thank you so much subscribe and learn it okay so if you subscribe the video uh, every day i will upload one latest lecture in this playlist okay thank you guys thank you so much